Welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at how to solve systems of conics algebraically. So the first system we're going to look at is actually the equation of a circle and where does it intersect this line. So we have the equation of a circle and the equation of a line. So algebraically we can do it one of two ways. One, we can solve it by substitution or we can solve by elimination. Both of the problems we're going to look at, we're going to use substitution. Okay, so the first one we're looking at is 2x squared plus 2y squared is 52. Well, notice I have a Lie coefficient of 2. So to make it easier, I'm going to divide the whole equation by 2 just to make it simpler. So when I divide this by 2, I'm going to get x squared plus y squared equals 26. So that makes it a little simpler. We'll be working with smaller numbers. Now my second equation is my linear function. Now notice this is already solved for y. So I'm going to substitute x minus 4 in for y. So I have an x squared plus the quantity x minus 4 squared equals 26. Now I'm down to one variable. Now I can solve it. So let's FOIL this one out. So I have an x squared plus, I'm going to write x minus 4 times x minus 4 equals 26. And to FOIL that, I'm going to do first outer inner last. So x squared minus 8x plus 16 is equal to 26. And then bring down the x squared. Now let's combine like terms. So I'm going to add those together and get 2x squared minus 8x, and I'm going to bring my constant of 26 over, so that's going to give me positive 10. I'm sorry, negative 10 equals 0. Now again, I've got a 2. This is divisible by 2, so let's take a 2 out of every term. And that's going to give me x squared minus 4x minus 5 equals 0. So I'm now going to factor the quadratic, and this becomes x minus 5 x plus 1. Okay, so I've got it down, so all I have to do now is solve. So x has to be 5 or negative 1. So we've got a couple intersection points. Now I'm not done because this is just the x coordinate. Remember, solving a system is a point, so it's got to be an ordered pair. So if we have a circle and a line, I'm trying to locate these two points. In this case, it intersects twice. So I have to find the y coordinate. So I'm going to take these x coordinates and plug them in one at a time into my line. So my line is y minus or equals x minus 4. My first x coordinate I'm going to plug in is 5. So y is equal to 5 minus 4, which is 1. So that means one of my answers is 5 comma 1. Now let's plug in negative 1. y equals negative 1 minus 4, so y equals negative 5. So that means I plugged in negative 1 and I got out negative 5. So that is the intersection. These two points, 5, 1 and negative 1, negative 5, are the points where the circle and the line cross. Now let's look at a second example. Okay, this one has got a parabola and we have a quadratic. So we have some kind of parabola shape, and we have a second parabola, and they both actually face up, right? We have two parabolas, so it might cross once, it might cross twice. If you've got like a parabola inside, a, like a wide one, and then a skinny one crossing it, so it might cross twice. Okay, so we've got possible intersection points. So let's see what we can do. I'm going to take the first equation and solve it for y. So I'm going to get x squared equals positive y. Now the second equation is already solved for y. So let's substitute x squared minus 4x plus 4 right here for y. So I'm going to get an x squared is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 4. Now I'm going to move my x squared to the other side. Well, I get 0 when I do that. So 0 equals negative 4x plus 4. So let's solve this one. Negative 4 is equal to negative 4x. 
So x is equal to positive 1. So we've got an intersection point, one intersection point. Now to find the y coordinate, I'm going to plug in positive 1. So I've got x squared minus y equals 0. Our x value is 1, so 1 squared minus y equals 0. Negative y equals, this is just 1, uh, negative 1, so y is 1. So what's that ordered pair? 1 comma 1. And that's the intersection point between the parabola and the parabola. So we have one intersection point. And you can always go back and plug them in and make sure they work, but they should work. So I uh, hope this video was helpful on learning how to solve conic sections using algebra, in this case, substitution.